Hey there. Hi. Hi. Tell us your name. My name's Kevin Harrington. And what do you do for the shuttle program? I'm a manager of the uh, soft goods production in the uh, TPS facility. Yeah. Explain to folks where we are right now. Right now we're in the machine shop, but the TPS facility itself, we make uh, basically all the components of the heat shield for the shuttle. The tiles, the gap fillers, the blankets for the upper surface, the high temperature seals for all the doors and, and landing gear. How long have you worked for the space program? Um, I started in 79, but I quit a little while to go dredge for gold in California, but then I came back because this is my true love. Where does this end up? On the orbiter. Yeah, on the top of the orbiter, right? Mm, some and the inside. Bottom, and in the bottom. Gap fillers and stuff like the Thoma bears yeah. on the bottom side. All over, really. And it's the part of the heat shield, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how long have you worked here? Since 1979. Wow. Since before the first flight? Yeah. So have you seen every launch? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, I have. How's it been working for the shuttle program? Oh, I love it. It's been a dream come true to me. Because yeah. when I was uh, young living overseas, I don't remember what year it was. It was in the early 60s, late 60s. Uh, my dad, we lived in Thailand. And I remember my father making us sit down and watching the walk men walking on the moon. And at that time, I thought that was a, to be in America, to be a part of that was just so awesome. But I was overseas at the time. That's great. Are you going to be here for the final flight? I hope so. Describe for folks where we are right now. What is this building? It's actually the parachute facility. We refurbish and repack um, uh, SRB chutes uh, for the boosters. We also pack uh, and refurbish the drag chute for, for the, the orbiter. orbiter. Yes. How long have you worked for the space program? 21 years. Do you like your job? Oh yeah, I love this. <laughs> it's good. It's yeah. real good. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the fact that we're about to finish flying the shuttle program? Well, uh, I don't think it's a surprise. It shouldn't be to anyone. And um, we should look forward to the next wave of space flight, whatever that means. I'm Dennis Miller. I'm a parachute technician here at TRF. And you're standing in front of what? I'm standing in front of the mains on the SRB parachutes. And uh, it's made out of nylon, and it's awful big compared to any other parachute out there in the world. And you're one of the folks who has spent the last how many years here? 14 years. 14 years here. working on the parachutes? Yes. Uh, and you guys work on orbiter parachutes as well, right? Yes, we do. And what do you do for the shoots? Are you one of the guys that works on the machines, the sewing machines? Or? I'm one of the technicians that are involved in working on the sewing machines here. We have Scott Brady also that works on the sewing machine. We do uh, testing on all of our materials with the Timmy Solson. Um, we manufacture the parts for the parachute. We go ahead and uh, take and inspect the whole chute from top to bottom, each thread, each ribbon, and it takes process of about 40 hours. Wow. Do you like your job? Yes, I love my job, of course. We have, what, two more missions to go for shuttle. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's an end of an era. I had some, I'm sorry to hear it go, but uh, there's, you know, a lot of other things out there in life that I'll go to, hopefully. My name's Stephen Harley. I'm a systems technician here in Flight Crew Systems. So this is the Flight Crew Systems Lab? In the USSPF. And what goes on here? This is where we package everything up, bring it in here from the back to the forward, and uh, load it up in these silvers and take it to the crew module out at the pad. Tell us about some of the items that you've got here that are getting ready to go out to Endeavor. You have uh, mid-deck stowage lockers, and they go in different areas. You have some that go low and some high, and these are uh, the 9N bags. And so it has uh, personal hygiene kits, uh, different items in there, uh, personal uh, the hygiene, not the hygiene kits, the uh, food trays and all the silverware. And a frame for that, and just a couple of the lockers over there. They all go up above your head, and that's what the astronauts look at when they're taking off. So do you guys go into the orbiter to, to load these things in? Yes. You know, three or four of us go in the crew module, and one will hand, stay on the outside and hand them in. Right here is the forward skirt. It's the top of the SRB, and we commonly call it the pointy piece. And we're getting ready to do some final preparations for orbiter mate inside the skirt here. We'll be installing the batteries, the 
to take care of the booster after it separates from the orbiter and uh, for recovery purposes. So we're looking inside the solid rocket booster there right now. This is inside the forward skirt, inside the top of the solid rocket booster. So how long have you been working for the space program? For 11 years. Have you enjoyed your job? Very much. There's nothing better. Yeah. Have you spent most of your time working here in the VAB? All of it. Yeah, I see. And I've worked in other shops and gone where help was needed. Yeah. How do you feel about the, fine, the fact that we're finishing out our final two missions? It's sad. Hopefully one day they'll come back up with something else, but it's a, it was a great opportunity and there's just nothing like it. Okay, tell us where we are right now. Uh, D2 in the high bay, VAB high bay one. And what's uh, this you're sitting next to? The solid rock booster. Um, the aft joint is right here. This is the aft field joint right here. And what are you guys doing with it? Uh, well, it's all closed out now. We're, we're closing out the uh, tank to SRB interface areas also. Uh, this is the brains of the SRB right here, the IEA. And how many years have you worked for the space program? All total, almost 26. Oh, yeah. You've seen most of the shuttle launches. All but about eight. Has, yeah. it, has it been fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get to build rockets. Doesn't get better than that, does it? My name's Todd Reeves. I'm a senior systems technician on uh, SRBs and solid rock, or, um, external tank. And where are we right now? We're at the um, aft location on the tank where the orbiter mates to the tank at the bottom. And the uh, locks fuel inlet. Okay, and what have you guys been doing here this week? Uh, we've done some electrical interface testing to make sure that all the cabling between the tank and the boosters is connected correctly and so the orbiter can talk to the boosters when it needs to. Um, we're getting ready to install some protective covers prior to orbiter mate on Tuesday. Um, so this is the tank for the final flight? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. ET-138. I've been here 29 years. Wow. Last October. So you've 29 plus. You've seen almost every la every shuttle flight. I came on board STS-2. So yeah, almost everyone. And I was home for that one. Have you enjoyed it? It's great. This is the best thing there is. Where else can you send human beings in space and get the benefits from it? <laughs>